That's right, Alicia. So Detroit's Mayor Mike Duggan is looking to improve the city's economic growth and provide better job opportunities for its residents. And that's going to be one of his key messages this evening when the mayor announces more details about how $100 million in job training scholarships will be provided to Detroiters. The city's got $100 million in federal funding through the American Rescue Plan Act, and Mayor Duggan is allocating it to provide folks with scholarships for job training opportunities. Those who qualify can get assistance through multiple programs. For example, folks can get paid $10 an hour to learn basic math and reading skills and even earn their high school diplomas. The city also offering Detroiters a chance to earn $15 an hour for putting in three days a week at work and two days a week in the classroom towards earning a GED or technical certification. What's more, the program covers various industries including healthcare, information technology, logistics and more. Today, the jobs are being created in Detroit. Detroit is the epicenter of job creation in Michigan. Earlier this month, Mayor Duggan announced Detroit's unemployment numbers, noting that they're the lowest they've been in 22 years. When I got elected, the unemployment rate was 18%. In May of 2020, at the peak of COVID, it was at 38%. To be down to 6% means the people of this city did the hard work to go out and get the jobs, to go to the training programs, to go to the GED programs. It's the residents of this city are, that are doing it. And here's the interesting thing. We can do better. Now the mayor is expected to announce more details about the program at this evening's charter mandated meeting, which is going to kick off at 7 p.m. right behind me at the Coleman Young Municipal Center. And of course, uh, People can attend both in person or online, and the mayor is expected to take questions from the attendees. And of course, you can find more details about the meeting on WXYZ.com. For now, Alicia Keenan, it's back to you. And we will be covering to see what happens. Faraz, thank you so much for that live update.